how how do I how how do I stream and record? That's actually quite difficult for me to explain you in in in, in very good details. But well, I'm using multiple things. I am. Um, These are the, the two things that you see. Of course, like the normal OBS, and you'll see this in a the, in the very um, smaller, smaller window, um, but OBS Studio. So if you go to, and, and I'll have my internet pages come up here as well. The two things I'll do, and um, so OBS and you have these two, two versions you have the classical version and you have the studio now I uh, go to studio you don't need classical anymore just go studio download studio and you'll get this one now why do I say why do you want to use this well if you go into settings and, and this is like your normal stuff, yeah, you know, your streaming key that you get off Twitch, you know, using it for Twitch, your output. Now you can have two outputs. You have the simple one, but we are going to use our advanced output because we are going to stream. Uh, let's get the camera. Wait a minute. Okay, camera. Is there a camera? Where's the camera? Don't know. Okay, it's okay. No camera then. Fine. Um, where was I? Settings. Yes, settings. I put advanced. Now, with streaming, you'll have to probably, because I, I, I'm using this screen that is um, uh, 1920 by 1080, so 1080p. So I'll have to rescale my output to 720 to keep files easier for the internet to take on. I'm using a bitrate of 2500 uh, because uh, so far I've read if you go too high in your bitrate and you can go up as much as you like because your internet will be able to take it. But is your, the internet of your viewer going to take it? Now that is something you, you have to uh, consider. I believe 2500 should be more than enough for most games and um, Keyframe at 2, I use VBR, I put it up to uh, very fast and um, yes there are more that you can take, ultra very fast, I, I think very fast is more than enough. Now, also very important, audio track. My audio track is full and this will be coming into effect a bit later on in the video. My recording settings will go to see YouTube streaming record. Okay, no big deal. Here I say recording format MP4, and you want to change this. This is at, 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 at FLV, and I can do anything with, that, with it. I'm not sure if you can, but I can't. So MP4, audio tracks, and I've selected one, two, three, and four. So this program will record four audio tracks. I don't have to output a skill because it's just using my 1080 to download. My bitrate is a bit high. Now bitrate as far as I am aware, as far as I am aware, um, this has a lot to do with how good is your hard disk. I could be wrong. Do correct me if I am. I'll put an annotation in the video. Um, I use a bitrate of that's stupidly high and you can go lower so um, if you I have a Western Digital and its uh, writing speed is a hundred uh, MBs per second so this isn't too much but keep in mind because I am only having this one um, it has to run the game it has to run the programs on the background so yeah Keep that in mind if you are going for this. Toy a bit with it because it will help you out. CBR is still very fast. And for audio, four tracks. I said four tracks. Now, audio bitrate track four because this is going to stream, uh, to, 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 to Twitch. This is what I'm streaming at. I'm streaming my audio bitrate at 160 
match for stream. As for the other recordings, add uh, is a bit rate of three, uh, 320. Just I like to edit my audio, and this will help it out uh, because it, it just sounds that little bit better. So I got mic because of course it's my mic. I got Skype and I got desktop. Now for desktop, that's just gaming noise. That's the the audio of games that 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 you'll hear. Um, Skype is what I just put up into Skype. You should be able to see this now. So if you go to Skype, say you want to use this, okay? Um, audio, yes, this is in Dutch. So I got here my uh, my microphone, and it's absolutely at the very very wrong one. I don't know why it does that, but it should be at that one. So kind of weird why it put that one back, uh, because I should have this one disabled at all time. But it doesn't really matter. It would just use default. Um, now here is where voice meter audio bandana is coming in. Voice meter bandana. I don't have this fancy, fancy machine where I can have multiple audio lines. So I use this one. This what this will do is it will create. It will create vir virtual um, audio lines. The computer thinks it is there. So I put this one aux input on 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 my, as my standard. Because uh, I can hear everything because it goes to A and B, uh, so one and two. And if you turn these off, you will no longer hear it. Uh, other videos will tell you to put voice meter or uh, voice meter input on as well. However, uh, what happens is my mic it's packed picked up, as you can see over here. My mic's picked up, and if I have everything on, I, I'm hearing myself. It is echoing, and some people are very good at ignoring their own voice, and I'm not. So yeah, as for recording, uh, you can see this one and this one uh, should be off because uh, that's just weird. I don't know why it's on, but I, I just had to redo my computer. So um, microphone, blue snowball, that is what I'm using. I got voice meter output on uh, because if I did put this one on, I would hear myself. And with this way, I can hear gaming audio. I can hear Skype because, hey, look at this. Skype is going to Devio. And I have uh, everything selected in here. Just it goes all over the place. Um, you can play with it if you like. For me, this, this works. It works. Uh, uh, so far, it hasn't failed. So, uh, voice me the banana. Uh, I, I believe if, if I go, just click there. It just brings me up here. Uh, you have a few, okay? Audio cable, voice meter. Go for banana. Why go for banana? Voice meter has just a few little options. It only has input. It has one output, and I need two. I need two outputs. So Skype, gaming, input from a mic, and it will work. What you have to remember is you will have to use the program. You have to make sure it is uh, open because else it doesn't work. So make sure it's open when you start. Uh, I don't know. Um, this is a, a noise meter, so you don't hear the fans. You just if if I go clicking, I know, trust me, I'm clicking now. Okay, that you hear a bit. But okay, I could turn this up. I could turn this down. Uh, so uh, you, if you go for uh, like audacity, you don't have to take out your uh, noise from ventilation or whatever. Enough about this stuff. Okay, I've shown you the audio settings. I've shown you settings that I use for Skype. Now, uh, oh, oh, people, yeah, yeah, you can try adding me. But I'm very selective with the people I add back. So don't think because you've seen this video you can go add me. Um, there's a very small possibility that I will actually let you. So audio, streaming, recording, okay. 
talking about audio voice meter bandana and, and, and this is how I set it up so in order to have your audio recorded and I just show you here this is my, oh, my hardware input snowball and it will go to this line um, it is actually working up this one and how do you know that is if you go once again to your audios uh, to your you see this one moving okay so you know that is a mic feed on it so put it into mic input output these are the, the, the voice ones over here uh, so gaming noise and, 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 and Skype noise they will come up here and just place these in or else it just don't work yes video yeah 1080 it will rescale to 720 I didn't change as much as I might have been I don't use that much hotkeys only for starting stream stopping recording and that's basically it this is how I set up my OBS studio once again I'm not a professional I do this for fun and but it works it works so sites you might be able to use is uh, you have your own dashboard uh, how I stream to using OBS yes I'm not playing it is uh, doing whatever it's supposed to do you are able to see people who are watching uh, Moobot is my m biggest fan so um, he's always there when I am uh, here is Moobot set up I can ban people I can mute their audio but it's also I had some spammers on there okay so uh, Twitch alert will give you like and I'll show you now I'll show you um, this this is the window this is the window where I can see people who are following me so I get this pop-up saying hey this people the person is now following your stream um, not so as watching so what that is is the alert box the alert box and it has this thing set up just click launch and you'll get the alert box widget um, you'll have to add it of course here into um, into your sources so here is where I set this up I'm not sure if you're able to see this or oh, you should be able to though so this is where followers come in so new followers should be coming up here unless I've set it up correctly now chat window going up here chat box how do you use I click this one launch and there you go I uh, did this way I, I'm able to see uh, people talking in chat and I've decided to get this up to this area uh, webcam is over here um, I, I can place it up there oh look at that it does work hello but I felt for this one yeah no so just click that one down and it will go uh, starting stream and games now spaces I'm still working on prison architect I'm not but why why remove something that well you don't need to remove so what did we cover this very very small uh, video is um, OBS studio my settings play with your settings play with your settings if you're unable to get out of it uh, send me uh, a message on Twitter Facebook YouTube uh, you name it I might get back to you I might even initiate a conversation with you to see if I am able to help you out with your problems because um, uh, we are all creating this community and uh, it's important that we all support each other so therefore I, I, I don't mind spending time helping out uh, people so um, just to let you know we've covered um, voice meter banana Still, I'm a noob at this, don't really know why, half the things I've set up, but they work. Uh, we've covered some of the uh, normal sites, I will not show you my streaming key. So go to Twitch, dashboard, type in what you're going to play, if you're playing, and your main language. Moobot, just to keep those trolls out, and chatbox to have your followers and chat inside of your uh, video, like I have. So I think I'm going to leave it at this.
Uh, once again, very messy episode, but that's me. Okay, um, I forgot something. I really did, and I'm very sorry for it. Um, yes, I forgot something. By pressing this mixer, you're able to see the tracks that you selected during the settings. Um, this one, uh, recording one, two, three, four. Those are those tracks. So, as you can see, this is track one, it just says one. So, click whatever you want to have on track one. For me, I want my mic on track one, I want my other audio on track two, track three. Now, as I stated in the settings, streaming audio track track four, make sure you have everything selected because this is the only track it will um, send out to Twitch. That's what I just wanted to say before I forgot. Um, also, uh, Team Grin's website on the background, uh, no, well, not really a website, it's a Google Plus community. Uh, so if you're looking for a community, Team Grin's gaming community, go there, you'll be accepted. I hope to see you there. Have a good day. Goodbye.